Hey guys, it's Lexi. Um, I just got out of the shower. I'm going to do a um, tutorial on how I care for my virgin hair. This is a U-part wig, um, 22, 18, and 14 inch that I made. Um, let me see, I'm gonna stand up. The lighting is pretty bad in my room right now. So, you're short, like I am. Um, it's not as full in the back for the 22 inch. Because of the way I did the wig, I wanted to be able to pull it up. Go sit down, I'm coming. So what I did to be able to, okay, to pull it up is, instead of doing row by row, sewing it on the cap, I kind of did um, rows up to the part and then folded it over so a lot of my 22 inch is sort of in the front but when I redo this wig um, I think I'm gonna do just row by row so it'll be fuller at the bottom so anyways um, I conditioned it with let me get it I co-washed using this I found this big bottle. This is a 25.4 full ounce bottle for $13.99 at my uh, local beauty supply store. So I just co-washed it with that. This is the Organics uh, Renewing Moroccan Argan Oil Conditioner. This stuff is so thick and creamy. It's, it's like wonderful. Um, then I went on and took my shower while the conditioner was in there and I rinsed it out. I have a removable shower head, so it keeps my other hair from getting wet. Um, at night, I do two French braids, including my real hair, since this hair is a body wave. And then I actually, after I tie it, I undo the two plaits, right, you know, and I actually combine it into one so it could be bigger waves. So after you co-wash and rinse, you're going to want to towel dry it. First, I go like this and wring all the water out. I go like that like three, four times on each side. And then I take a towel and I scrunch to get all the excess water out. So that's what I did to co-wash. And actually, now I'm going to take... Um, really, I don't even need to. This stuff has so much oil in it. Um, it's not oily. But it, it leaves your hair feeling wonderful. But I'm going to take this uh, revitalizing pomegranate green tea anti-frizz serum from Organics. And I'm going to put just a itty bitty bit on both sides. So not even a full squeeze. I'm going to try to do just a, like a dime size amount. Yeah. I don't know. Just a dime size amount. And I'm just going to run that through all of it, especially at the ends. I really feel like it might not even need it, though, really. This hair is wonderful. So I'm just going to take a wide tooth comb, brush through. So... And then I'll take this off. See how I still have the French braids kind of like left out? Well, they're still braided. So I can uh, take those out. This just helps my real hair because it's short. Um, blend really well. So once the other hair is dry... It'll blend uh, perfectly. Okay. So that's basically it. For my edges, I use Cream of Nature Argan Oil Perfect Edges. So, um, it reminds me of, uh, you know, that stuff called jam. That's what this reminds me of. So I'll just take some of that.
So, yeah, like I said, once this is dry, then it'll blend. I try not to wet up here. That way I don't have to uh, put heat on my hair. I really don't like using a lot of heat. So, um, I don't think my hair necessarily needs any serum, but I'm going to put a little bit on my hair as well. That's on my real hair. Okay. So, that's pretty much it with this. I'm going to do a little bit of scrunching. Mommy, I have a picture. Mm-hmm. And uh, the body wave is coming right back. And I'm just going to let it air dry over my shoulders like this because I'm actually getting ready to be moving around uh, doing laundry and stuff. And, yeah, I don't like to have to comb it until it's wet. So I normally am, like, very careful. I mean, until it's dry. Well, not comb it, but I don't want to mess up my curls. So I try not to, like, do a lot of moving around. Um, But, yeah, I love this hair. Oh, my God. So, anyways... Yeah, this is a virgin Brazilian hair. I'm going to do redo this U-part wig. I was really trying it. I never did it before. Um, so, I had a hard time even installing it. But, yep. That's it. So, you know, that's what it looks like. And it's going to just keep waving up. This hair is beautiful. Feels like butter. Anywho, that's it. That's how I maintain my hair. I don't co-wash it, but like once a week. And in between co-washes, like I said, I do the braids. Only thing I don't like about the braids is the ends are crinkly instead of uh, wavy. I don't really like that. But I'm real anal about certain things. <laughs> so to me, crinkly, like especially when you get to the end, crinkly to me reminds me of frizz. And I'm so anal when it comes to hair, like color and all that. So, but I don't want to, I don't have time to co-wash every day. Otherwise, <laughs> I would. So, yeah. But anyways, that's my video. Um, hope you like it. Subscribe. Bye.